what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create the simple end screen animation inside hit film express um, so uh, let's get started open up your hit film express i'm going to create a new composite chart i'm going to call this end screen and for the duration i'm going to go with 15 seconds uh, frame rate can be 60 and click on ok uh, let's create a new plane there and I'm going to call this rectangle I'm going to give it a white color, but you can choose any color that you want Now let's create a simple transition. So uh, Let's expand this rectangle there go to transform create a position keyframe. I want this shape to be at the top So I want this to be at 1080. So now I'll just move 40 frames forward And I want this to be in the center. So I'll just type in 540 to bring this shape right in the center uh, let's select these keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier and uh, go to value graph for the shift key just drag this handle all the way to the left now just duplicate this shape and uh, go inside the transform on the second keyframe just hold the control key on the keyboard and just click on this number and now that will change to negative value do the same thing with this first keyframe as well hold the control key and click on this number to change it to a negative value so now we have this simple transition this black background can be your video so if i go to options check about background you can see it's transparent uh, we can put your video in, inside this and that will be a smooth transition from your video to this end screen after the transition i want to add another let's bring in this rectangle there and i'll just call this rectangle 2 and i want to apply the fill color on this because if we change the color of this layer inside the properties then these changes will also affect these two bottom layers we don't want that so we'll just apply the fill color expand the fill color set the blend to 100 and we can just pick any color from this screen right over here let's go with this red color and click on ok now uh, let's zoom in and I uh, want this to be let's see go transform create a position keyframe inside this yeah so right at this point let's create a position keyframe move 40 frames forward create another keyframe let's unhide this so at this point I want this shape to be on this side on the left side I want to rotate this a bit and also let's just reposition this and increase this size a bit just like that let's put it right over here now on the first keyframe we want this to be all the way to the left side select these two keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier go inside the value graph and just create a smooth animation okay there we have some problem um but a uh, worry not we'll fix that so i want this to be let's copy this value 461 whatever this is and paste it right over here now we'll have this animation nice and easy you can also make this even more smoother by increasing the gap in between these two keyframes that's just completely up to you and then we can add maybe let's just bring this a bit more to the left and just rotate this like that okay copy this value again and paste it on this keyframe okay now we can add a text so let's say subscribe control a to select your text and we can pick any font that we want increase the size a bit and we can also change its color so i'll just put it right over here since this text color is white and our transition these two things are also white i don't have to animate this all i have to do is just make sure that our text starts appearing from this point so i'll just drag it and make sure that it starts from this point right over here and uh, there we have it if it if your color if you have a different text color 
or your background is different then you can just simply animate the position values then what we can do is let's grab in this rectangular again make sure it starts from the same point and maybe yeah let's let's just put it right over there and i can call this circle and apply the polar warp effect on this basically i'm creating this placeholder for our where our image will our channel image will go so i'll just decrease your end radius and just just position this right on this on the left side so expand the center and just change the position values bring it right over here we can increase this slightly to 100 looks fine and change the start radius as well let's try to create this stroke shape like that and i want to start animating it from this point so let's just create rotation and range keyframe set these both to zero let's move 40 frames forward change the values to 180 Let's move 20 frames forward, copy these keyframes and paste them over. Again, move 40 frames forward, 34, and want this to be back to zero. So now we have this simple animation. And let's move 20 frames forward. I'm going to copy and paste them over like that. Uh, make sure that all these keyframes are manual Bezier keyframes. Okay, so now it's gonna end properly. So uh, there we have it. This is what we have created so far. And now to further stylize this, we can add a drop shadow on our rectangle underscore two layer. Go to drop shadow and set the angle to ninety and increase the pin number value to 60 and we can also play around with the opacity of the shadow but i think that it looks fine if you just leave it as it is and uh, lastly we can also add gradient color gradient on our rectangle underscore two layer and uh, want this to be the same red color so let's just pick this start color same red color and again the end color i want this to be the same red color but we can just then click on this box and from this color window we can change it to a darker shade of red click on ok and now we can enable the color gradient make sure the blend is set to normal and opacity is set to 100 and now we can use these two controllers to just change the change where these it's basically the gradient stops so we can just play around with these um, and I think that's it that's how you can create a end screen animation inside head thumb and on the right side you can just place your videos right over here and we can even add some more text so maybe I'll say recommended videos make this black and we can place it right in the center or we can even rotate this and just put it right over here and uh, we can just drag this layer and put it under our rectangle underscore two layer so now it makes, makes it look like that this text is coming under this shape right over here so that's pretty much it uh, that's how we can create this end screen animation inside head film i hope this video was helpful if it was don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one